Hey guys, so we just got a Nintendo Direct announced to us, a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase for September 2020. Over on Twitter, at Nintendo America wrote, tune in 917 at 7 a.m. PT for a live streamed hashtag Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, featuring information on upcoming hashtag Nintendo Switch titles exclusively from our publishing partners. So that will be 10 a.m. Eastern time for me, and I will be live streaming this. Speaking of live streaming, Nintendo is going to be live streaming this. So usually Nintendo has just been shadow dropping stuff without much of a warning and not live streaming them. They're just like videos you can watch. So I'm really happy this one we got a heads up about and it's actually going to be live streamed so once again I will be live streaming that tomorrow if you want to watch alongside with me. We seem to be getting these partner showcases every month. We got one in July, we got one in August, and now once again we have one here in September. So this seems to be a monthly tradition at least for this year. On the Japanese announcement for this Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, it has the number 23 in some Japanese writing, and Cephazon was kind enough to actually translate that for us, and the 23 simply means it's going to be at 11 p.m., so 23 uh, military time is essentially what's happening here. Not that the Direct is going to be 23 minutes long. We have no idea how long this Direct's going to be. Okay, so before I talk about this Partner Mini Direct and say my predictions or at least go over what things have sort of been rumored and potentially leaked about this one, I want to first talk about a few other things Nintendo has uh, announced recently. We just got our Nintendo Switch Online games announced for September, and it includes Donkey Kong Country 2, The Peacekeepers, Scat, and Mario's Super Picross, which is a Japanese game, so it's pretty cool that they're giving us those Japanese games. Though the Japanese Switch Online actually got some different titles, including Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem, Super Tennis, and Wild Guns. So the only one that's on both of these is Donkey Kong Country 2. However, you can just make a Japanese Switch account and play the Japanese Nintendo Switch Online game. So basically all these games are available to us. And then the other thing we got announced is a new event for Super Smash Brothers. It's a one-on-one -on -one without missiles close combat tournament. So it's basically a tourney event for characters that don't use projectiles. The translation says it will be held for three days starting on 918 Friday. This is a stock-based tournament in which only fighters who do not have missiles can participate. Please enjoy the real thrill of close combat on the final stage. So with this Smash event and, of course, the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, it doesn't seem very likely we'll get a Smash character reveal happening this week. My guess is that will probably happen closer to the release of the next Amiibos, which are Hero and Joker, releasing September 25th in Japan and October 2nd here in America. Okay, so with that stuff out of the way, let's talk about this Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase and what we could possibly be seeing here. I do also want to point out that, like I said before, we've gotten this in July, we've gotten this in August, we're now getting this in September. So I'm going to go over what games are like rumored or potentially leaked and stuff that may be happening by the end of the year. But of course, we'll probably get another Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase in October and November and December. So the games I go over here are just sort of guesses at what we might see in the September Partner Showcase, but if we don't see them then, it doesn't mean they're gone. It could just mean that they're happening the next month or the month after, something like that. Okay, so first off, we found out that Doom 64 is actually getting a physical release on September 25th. So I think something Doom happening in this Partner Showcase is pretty likely, or at least highlighting this physical release of Doom 64. We also still supposedly have Doom Eternal coming out by the end of 2020. So yeah, that really needs to get announced soon and it might happen in this partner showcase. So with a lot of Doom stuff happening soon and even that physical release of Doom 64 happening September 25th, the same day as the Hero and Joker Amiibos in Japan, I won't get into Kako Malo, but yeah, feel free to speculate Doom Guy until we see who our next Smash DLC is. Over on my Discord, Blue wrote, Mass Effect Trilogy has leaked, and then posted a link to Twitter that has Nebelian saying, Mass Effect Trilogy listings have gone up on a Portuguese retailer website with a temporary box art that has a new logo on it. So potentially this Mass Effect Trilogy game could be announced during this partner showcase and shown off for Switch. One thing we probably won't see in this partner showcase is No More Heroes 3, as Suda51 announced recently that it's actually been delayed. Of course, the original No More Heroes was rated for Switch fairly recently by the Taiwanese rating board, so it's very possible that even if we don't see No More Heroes 3 for a while, it's possible the original No More Heroes could be shown off for Switch, and maybe that will be in this partner showcase. Or possibly they'll hold it off until it's closer to No More Heroes 3. Hard to say, but it's a possibility. Also over on my Discord, Blue wrote, Hideki Kamiya retweeted Nintendo's Japan tweet for the Partner Showcase. Hype responsibly. 
Kamiya has said that Bayonetta 3 was going along fine, so it is very possible we could see Bayo 3 stuff in this partner showcase. That would be really hype. Over on the IGN website, they have Apex Legends listed for Switch for quarter 3, 2020, so that seems extremely likely to get announced in this partner showcase, so I do think Apex Legends will probably show up tomorrow. We've also had rumors of a new Monster Hunter game coming to Switch, so that seems like it'll probably get revealed soon, and that might happen again in this partner showcase. So yeah, Apex Legends and Monster Hunter are two things I really do think we'll probably see tomorrow. Something else we could possibly see is Super Monkey Ball. Brian Matt, the voice of the original announcer, wrote this. Playing a friend Switch, Super Monkey Ball, of course. I need to stop shouting out, ready, go. You all understand, September will be amazing for what's to come. So if there is something Super Monkey Ball happening in September for the Nintendo Switch, obviously this partner showcase would be the time to announce it. We could also possibly see some more stuff on Bravely Default 2 that's supposedly getting a worldwide release in 2020. So yeah, it's a possibility here, but again, we seem to be getting these partner showcases every month. So whether or not Bravely Default 2 will happen here in September, or if it'll happen in October or November or something, hard to say. The Ninja Gaiden Sigma Trilogy was listed by Hong Kong's largest game distributor, but supposedly it's coming in March 2021 for PS4 and Switch, so it's possible it would get highlighted here, but that might be held off if it's not happening until March. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 had some controller options for Switch-style controls, so likely that game will happen for Switch eventually here. I don't know if it would happen in this partner showcase if they'd show it off, but it's a possibility. The Master Chief Collection coming to Switch has been a rumor for a long time, so again, I don't know if that would happen in this partner showcase, but it's something I have in the back of my mind. Nier might be too graphically intensive for the Switch, though I've heard some people talking about it possibly happening, so yeah, throw that one on there too. We pretty much got confirmation that Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, would come to Switch eventually, but we don't know exactly when. So yeah, that's another thing that's possible that could get shown off in this partner showcase. Nintendo seems to like to separate out things with the indie world, but it is possible we could get some news on Silk Song or possibly Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Okay, so that's pretty much my predictions for what's going to happen in this partner showcase. I don't expect like half of that stuff to be there, but I do think a lot of that stuff is possible to be there. We'll probably get a few of those things. Again, these partner showcases seem to be happening monthly, so some of this stuff will probably happen in October or November or December, but I do think at least a few of the things I mentioned will probably happen tomorrow. Jeff Grubb tweeted out, This is the other wild card. I've hinted at one of the things that will be in it. So apparently Jeff Grubb has hinted at at least one thing that's going to show up in this partner showcase. I will say Jeff Grubb has mentioned Super Mario RPG on Switch a lot, but I really do feel like he's just kind of joking about that and sort of saying, you know, it should show up for the Switch online, which it hasn't yet. I've been trying to avoid talking about this, but a lot of people have asked me about it. I've seen articles about it now, so I don't feel like I can avoid it any longer, but just know I'm very wary of the next thing I'm about to talk about. So over on Twitter, at The Fixated wrote me, I don't know if you've heard of this, but there is a rumor leak about a potential sequel to Super Mario RPG, and that Square Enix and Nintendo are working on it. Here's the link from the website Comic Book. This rumor is mostly stemming from Jeff Grubb writing Super Mario RPG. At Sherito742 wrote back, I received information about this game and how supposedly Square Enix is working on a sequel for Switch. The info said that this was releasing on Switch Online by the time they're ready to announce the sequel project. At Sean Hicks Art, who did the art for my icon for this channel actually, said, Just curious, are they sure it's a sequel, not a remake? And at Sherito742 wrote, specifically said sequel to me. At Sean Hicks Art wrote back, that makes sense to be honest. I remember seeing remake rumors, but this sounds a bit more plausible, especially with releasing the original title on the NSO. Thank you. So again, I've kind of been avoiding talking about this one. I'm extremely wary of it. Sherito doesn't have any kind of history of leaking stuff, though they are followed by Emily Rogers on Twitter, though that doesn't make them a leak or anything, of course. I will add that back on May 18th, I actually was messaged about a Super Mario RPG remake rumor. It said, hey, Papaginos, sorry to come out of the blue like this, but I've been digging deep into something I've heard about regarding a Super Mario RPG remake. So hearing something going on with Super Mario RPG has actually been a rumor I've heard about since May. Of course, what I heard was remake, and what they're saying now is 
sequel, and honestly, I've been wary of the whole thing the entire time. I asked around about it to people who might know, and I never got a definitive answer that anything like that was happening, and it just sounded too good to be true to me anyway, so I was extremely wary of it. I hear a lot of rumors about a lot of games people want to see. I've heard stuff about Golden Sun possibly coming back. I've heard rumors about a remake for Earthbound and stuff like that, but always when I hear stuff like that, it just sounds too good to be true. I just keep it in the back of my mind. Maybe I'll ask around about it to people who might know, and if I don't really hear anything, I just assume it's probably not happening. 90% of the stuff I'm told by people online generally doesn't happen. Like, uh, rumors are happening all the time, and I really think this Mario RPG rumor is probably one of those, but I just felt like I should probably address it now as I'm seeing articles about it. A lot of people are asking me about it, so yeah, I had heard a remake rumor back in May. Now people on Twitter are saying there might be a sequel happening or something. Again, I'm extremely wary of it. I think it's probably too good to be true. I don't think it's happening, but hey, there you go. So will a Super Mario RPG sequel or remake be shown off in tomorrow's partner showcase? I doubt it. I'm extremely doubtful, extremely wary of these rumors. I don't think they're going to come to pass in any form, but hey, obviously I'd love for it to happen, so we'll just have to wait and see on this one. In other news, Sakurai has been posting some interesting stuff lately. Recently, he posted out this image of Sans and Ness together, and a lot of people took this as Sakurai sort of nodding at that whole Sans is Ness theory. Though more likely it just has to do with the fact that Undertale takes a lot of inspiration from the Mother series. Toby Fox was even part of that whole Pollyanna book that came out recently. So yeah, I think this has a lot more to do with just the fact that Undertale takes a lot of inspiration from the Mother series. Also over on Twitter, R.S. Gabe wrote, It's 1 a.m., I'm about to start reaching, but here we go. And posted three different images. The first one is what Sakurai tweeted. The next one is of the at Pokemon Twitter page, tweeting out, When you walk away, you don't hear me say, which is lyrics from Simple and Clean, which is a Kingdom Hearts song. And then the third image is of Sora in the water, very similar to how Cloud is, and Cloud, of course, is a square character, and so is Sora. It's definitely an interesting set of tweets, and the timing is, of course, kind of suspicious, but I don't think this necessarily means Sora is coming to Smash. And then finally, I just wanted to talk a bit about the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game. We found out it's actually a emulation of those games, so some people are a little salty about that. But what's really interesting is because this is emulated, there are strings of other N64 games in that emulation. So some people have been thinking maybe some N64 games will show up on the Nintendo Switch Online. We have, of course, the NES and Super NES. Maybe we'll get the N64 at some point, and this could be pointing to that. However, according to data miners Oatmeal Dome and Luigi Blood, this data is more likely to just be leftovers from the Wii U's N64 Virtual Console emulator. So likely that's all that's happening here. It's probably not pointing to N64 games showing up on the NSO. It's just some leftover material from the Wii U's emulator. Obviously, it would be really cool to get some N64 games on the Switch Online, and that may happen eventually, but this is likely not pointing to it. Well, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. I do think some of the games I mentioned will probably show up in tomorrow's Partner Showcase, and I am really happy that Nintendo is live streaming it. I'll be live streaming it as well, so if you want to watch alongside with me, feel free to do so. If you guys have any thoughts or comments or think any games I didn't mention might show up tomorrow, leave them in the comments below. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.